Hi, my dear children. How are you? Are you happy today? Okay. Today we are going to learn something new. Let's see. Look at this topic. Read the topic. Punctuation marks. Oh, here I have given you some examples that we use regularly. Full stop, comma, semicolon, colon, question mark, exclamation mark, apostrophe, underline. Among these punctuation marks, today we are going to learn about apostrophe. Do you know why we use it? Okay, let's see the apostrophe mark. Here, read the topic apostrophe and I have given you the mark. Can you see? This is the apostrophe mark. Keep it in your mind. Don't forget it. When we use apostrophe mark, you have to use this one. This is the first usage we use apostrophe to use the omission of a letter. We call it contraction. Here I have given you an example. This is in positive form. This is not the negative contraction. This is a positive contraction. I am so we have to write it in shortened way using apostrophe mark it is i apostrophe m again capital i apostrophe mark and m you have to omit simple a then it is called i'm I am can be right using apostrophe mark I am. Now let's see how to show the omission of letters in negative contractions. This is an example I will not. So we want to write will not in shortened way using apostrophe mark then we can write it I want W O N apostrophe T I want here I have given you a table for your further studies Please refer this table and study it. There are contractions and there are some words in full form and the contraction form. Please read these all contractions and study them for it is right. Now... We are moving to the second usage of apostrophe. It can be used to show possession or ownership. Look at this example here. There is a monkey. Can you see? This is the monkey. And we want to talk about the tail of monkey so we can tell that the monkey's tail then apostrophe should be added to the word monkey and have to write simple s letter the monkey's tail if it is a plural form like cats we can put apostrophe after S. Keep remember that if you talk about the possession of a singular form, 
you have to put apostrophe n s letter if it is a plural form word that ends with simple s letter you have to put only apostrophe mark let's move to our textbook please take out your textbook and turn to page number 19 can you see there are all the things that we discussed there are usages that we can use apostrophe mark first one show the omission of a letter and there are some examples in positive form i am i am you are you are like that you can read this apostrophe usages second one show the omission of a letter and negative plus question form are not aren't is not isn't do not don't should not shouldn't now again you have been given positive contractions i have i i will i'll i would i'd and again negative plus question will not want cannot can't and the second usage to show possession or ownership rahal's bat abdul's book and pencil yoga's bicycle like that then we don't use the apostrophe with the following possessive pronouns we can't use apostrophe to show the ownership for these pronouns okay children now this is the time to do an extra activity please copy down this activity into your grammar book and then do it now we are going to do pupils book activities and workbook activities in your pupils book page number 20 there is an activity number six please do it in your grammar book then in your workbook activity one to four you can do these four activities in your workbook itself that's all for today thank you children and goodbye